In this video, I'm going to show you how to do family sharing on Steam. So first thing you want to do is open up Steam and you can be on any site inside the Steam app. And what you then want to do is of course be logged in into your account and then click on Steam up here in the left hand corner. And then go down here to where it says settings. And then you want to go inside security, okay? Now once you're inside security, make sure you have your Steam Guard enabled on your Steam, okay? So the way you can check this is to click Manage Steam Guard over here, which will open up this Manage Steam Guard site. And as you can see, there are multiple options. You have to have either the first one where you get Steam Guard co codes from the Steam app on your phone or Steam Guard codes by email, which always requires you to re-log in. You can have this option turned on though. So you have to have the Steam Guard on. It cannot be off over here. And that's it. That's the first part. You want to have either the first option or the second option. And once that's done, you want to go back into Steam, Settings, and then click on family over here. And then over here, as you can see, it says family view. We don't want anything to do with this. We want to have family library sharing turned on. And the way you do this is firstly, authorizing library sharing on this device. So you want to click over here. So it turns on, as you can see, you now see eligible accounts, no currently eligible accounts. And you want to leave the show notifications when shared libraries become available on. You can also turn it off if you don't like it, but I usually just leave it on since it doesn't really matter. And then what you want to click is over here where it says family library sharing, you want to click manage. And then there we go. As you can see, this current device name is so it's my name. And then uh, the sharing status is authorized. And then there we go. Now, I'm also going to tell you this, that you have to go on every separate computer and do this. And then uh, once you've done that, the library becomes synchronized, okay? And then once uh, different members go into the library and click on different games and play different games, you'll be able to see that when you go back into settings, and press manage over here, it's going to say when the library was last accessed, okay? And that's pretty much it. That's how we do family sharing on Steam and I hope this video helped you out.